It was a usual work-to-home commute for 27-year-old Malcolm Reynolds last night when his life was cut short at this bus stop near the boom cutoff. Reynolds was a construction worker, and his mother, Sherry Anthony, recounted for us today the last time she saw her son before the family learned through a mutual friend that he had been murdered en route to their home in Lemonal. Yesterday, the last time I saw that when I catch the 530 bus, we go over that Belama, we probably usually go work. Last night, a police boy fire when a wee family called me and asked me if, like, about 7.30, if police no call me, so I tell them no. And he tell me they shut up this boy with a Julian. And I hear me over there, they sleep, so I call and I holler for him and he answer. So um, I tell the boy that no, hey, so I tell the pa. What they say, so afterwards, the boy called back, but when he called back, I don't make the ball because we, the bus was called seven. The father called and asked if he did the bus, and he said no, so I start to ball. The family claims that the police never informed them of the incident. And while their loved one now lies in a body bag at the KHMH, they can only begin to piece together what may have caused this tragedy, including their inter-village rivalries. Listen, Mekatelo, we have two villages. You have Bermuda Landing and Doublehead Cabbage. Anyway, we party the boy go, they harass them. If they meet one or there or two of them, we we'll set it up. The only one that they are that that the only problem with me know they may have a fighting her race, but Malcolm never made it do nothing in a that as far as why I wasn't there. That set a crowd only that crowd right the way I tell you the two village they always the back of forty daily boy only them me know about me know. You know, sir, why? No, well, me no know that they just the beefy daily boy there. You make report, you got Ladyville police, Ladyville landing, boom. All where they do, they pick up loan lemon all man, then they left landing and double head man. So this thing only they stay between the lee boy and then when they pick the up, the loan that they harass, then they left the one that they. So I think Mr. Chester need to shuffle, move, boom, Ladyville. Um, boom, Ladyville landing because they know they do the job that they work with the boys there. Eh? They wonder what they cause the problem. Reynolds was the second oldest child in his family and had no children. His mother believes that they will get justice one way or another. How would you describe your son? What kind of person was oh, he to you? And loving, jovial, anything where you want to do. You only call pa now. And who are they for assist you? But the one with chance, my lee boy, because the coward, the coward, the only one catch him one, but I got news for them. And they must say how I ball, and my ball back because that man up there where we serve, that was mighty God. And we are going with revenge for the God up there. We know I do nothing, no, no retaliation, nothing. We are going with satisfaction for God. Joe Marie Lanza, 7 News.